Um, I'm Budika. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Budika Amarasikha Dahanayaka from the Center for Crop Health at the University of Southern Queensland. Uh, today, I'm going to share some of my PhD research, um, which was focused on characterization of pyrin fora terrace and mapping of virulence genes. Uh, Net blotch in Bali is caused by pyrin fora terrace. Um, annual cost due to net blotch can exceed 60 million uh, Australian dollars. So net blotch can appear as two forms, as you can see in this figure, uh, two figures, net form, net blotch, and spot form, net blotch. So net form, net blotch is uh, caused by pyronophora terrace form terrace, and spot form, net blotch is caused by um, pyronophora terrace form maculata. So these two forms are also called PTT and PTM, uh, respectively. And the hybridization between the two forms is rare. However, the recent emergence of um, field hybrids uh, increased the necessity for understanding uh, their occurrence and um, biology. Uh, so to improve our knowledge of the Peters Bali Pathos system, we set three objectives for our study. The first objective is to identify the genetic characterization uh, to um, to genetically characterize the PTT isolates from different continents and identify the mating preference of Peteras and its hybrids and investigate genomic regions associated with virulence and leaf symptom of Peteras using a, a hybrid population. So in order to genetically characterize PTT from different continents, we collected 250 isolates from Australia, Canada, Hungary, and uh, Republic of South Africa. And also we included five um, historical isolates, isolates from Canada, Denmark, Japan, and Sweden. So once we collected these isolates, we extracted DNA, and then we sent this DNA for dark sequencing. So once we um, obtain our uh, data, we performed uh, model based and multivariate cluster analysis to find out the genetic uh, structure of our population. And then we uh, calculated analysis of molecular variants, and then we calculated uh, fixation statistics and genetic distances among these populations to identify the genetic difference uh, among these uh, continents. And also then we um, performed uh, or we constructed a dendrogram and performed form specific PCR to identify uh, hybrids in, the, in our data set. So these are the, um, so this is the dendrogram that we obtain uh, from our, So here you can see the dendrogram that we have obtained from our study. Um, so, so in this den from this dendrogram, we found out that uh, there are two isolates um, from Japan and Hungary. They were closely related with the previously identified field hybrid uh, WAC10721. And we suspected that these two isolates were hybrids. So we wanted to confirm whether these isolates were hybrid or not. So because of that, we performed a form-specific PCR amplification. And once we performed our uh, form-specific PCR amplification, we confirmed that these two isolates are actually hybrids. So then um, all of our structure analysis revealed that our uh, population, um, uh, the the structure analysis revealed that the three clusters best described our population. As you can see in this, um, our principal component analysis figure. And out of these three clusters, one cluster contained isolates with admix origin. Also, we found out that uh, there is a low genetic differentiation among our populations and there are research 
uh, ongoing gene migration. So um, Pteris is a heterothenic fungus. So because of that, it needs two thalli from opposite mating um, type uh, types are required for sexual uh, recombination. So these two types are called mating type one and mating type two. So in order to identify the mating preference of um, Pyronophora teres, we established 15 crosses and 12 uh, control crosses. Uh, so in this uh, presentation, I'm just going to talk about the made-in preference of only PTT and PTM. However, the, the full research article is available online under this, uh, under this uh, title. So if you, are, if you are interested in this one, you can, uh, you're more than welcome to have a look. So this is how this table shows uh, shows examples of crosses that we performed, uh, where each isolate was given the opportunity to mate with the same and the opposite form at the same time. For example, isolate HRS O uh, HRS O nine one two two seven, which is a mating type two PTT isolate, was given the opportunity to mate with either a, P, a mating type one PTT. Uh, isolate or a uh, mating type one PTM isolates. And so here you can see the bottom uh, figure shows how we established our crosses in our pet in petri dishes with sex uh, medium and barley straw. So from this study, we found out that um, some PTT crosses produce ascospores at two time points with a period of no ascospore production, as you can see in the first two crosses. And these PTT isolates mated with the same form during the early uh, ascospore production period and later mated with the opposite form to produce hybrids. So as you can uh, see in uh, the first cross, first two crosses. And the PTT isolates did not mate with the uh, isolates of the same form, but hybridized with PTT isolates. In conclusion, we found out that PTT isolates seems to have a greater reproduction vigor than PTM. So in order to identify the genomic regions of PTRS, uh, PTRS, uh, mm, genomic regions of Peteris associated with virulence, we um, genotype 350 unique isolates using DART sequencing, and we phenotyped um, these 351 isolates with eight barley genotypes. And then we constructed our genetic map, and then we found, uh, found out QTL. And then we uh, identified candidate genes underlying this QTL. So from uh, this study, we could found out four QTL for leaf symptoms. Um, so they are in uh, red color in our map, and then four, uh, five QTL for virulence. They are in blue color, sorry, blue color uh, in the genetic map, and then we could found out sixty eight uh, candidate genes for this uh, nine QTL. So once we um, phenotyped our population we found out that uh, some of the uh, isolates uh, were highly virulent across the eight barley genotypes that we uh, phenotyped at the beginning. And then we selected these uh, eight bar, um, isolates which are having high virulence uh, on the tested barley genotypes. And then we uh, phenotyped these uh, isolates with uh, another 12 barley genotypes. So these 12 barley genotypes were like most of the, most of them were commercially available and recommended for net blotch uh, disease, uh, net blotch disease. And out of, uh, from this phenotypic assessment, we found out that three isolates, uh, as you can see in the bottom uh, figure, uh, they had uh, they were highly virulent across the 20 barley genotypes that we um, tested with a disease uh, reaction score about six, as you can see in this figure. So in conclusion, 
Uh, from this study, we found evidences for recent ongoing gene migration among, among uh, hung Australia, Hungary, and Republic of South Africa. Two, we also could found uh, two field hybrids from Hungary and Japan. And this Japanese isolate was collected in 1931. And um, so this isolate was remained undetected as a hybrid for nearly 100 years. And the crosses that we made uh, to identify the mating preference of PTT and PTM revealed that PTT isolate seems to uh, have a great pre reproduction bigger than PTM isolate. And this uh, tells us that the sexual, uh, sexual barriers between PTT and PTM can be overcome under suitable conditions. This is the first QTL mapping study to identify QTL associated with the leaf symptom of Peteris. So therefore we believe that these results form a solid foundation for future studies. So I would like to acknowledge my wonderful uh, supervisors, Anka, Nilufa, and Liesl, my friends at CCH and uh, Hermitage Research Facility. And thank you very much.